The Xbox One comes with a fixed hard drive that is rather small. If you've installed GTA 5 and Assassin's Creed Unity, you're probably feeling the pinch. This is how we fix it. Welcome to the channel. This is Technoscope. Welcome back, Scopers. Today we turned the microscope on a product that I've been looking forward to having for quite some time. Obviously, me being Elemento, I cannot just simply get a hard drive enclosure and just stick it on the back of the Xbox One. That just wouldn't do for me. I need something with a little more flash, a little more appearance, something that looks like it belongs there. And that's where this device comes in play. I first saw the Media Hub on a link on a Google Plus page for Xbox. The problem was the link went to a website that only sold products in Canada. And furthermore, when I did research on the product, I only found stores in Canada that actually sold it. So you can imagine my joy when I found out that Amazon now sells the Collective Minds Media Hub for Xbox One. If you're like me, you probably can't wait to get your hands on one of these, so I've provided a link in the description below. So there are two ways you can approach this. The first route is to go with more storage as I did and buy a larger hard drive to put more games on. But you may not be after a lot of storage as I was. You may just want to have your games load faster. As it turns out, not only is the Xbox internal hard drive slow, but it only uses a SATA 2 connection to connect it to the system. Using the Media Hub connects the hard drive through USB 3.0, which is actually faster. So if you went out and bought an SSD, you would not only have more storage, but you would have a faster system and the games would load faster. Now faster loading games would be a very nice luxury to have, but I would rather buy another Xbox One than spend $400 on buying a large SSD that can also hold a lot of games. So I'm going to walk you through this unboxing and show you what's involved in setting up this device and how to get it to run properly. Now men have a habit of avoiding the instruction manual, but in this particular case, I want to advise you to avoid using the manual. The only thing you need to take note of in this entire booklet is how to install the brackets that go on the hard drive. The reasoning behind this is very simple. If you look at the reviews on Amazon, they're very bad for this device because a lot of people have followed the instructions they've given and the device doesn't work when they've finished setting it up. So here it is, the Media Hub itself. As you can see, it has a USB 3.0 connection on this side and you can see that the vent holes at the end allow air to flow through the device and into the system. This cover here is where your hard drive will go. These little metal brackets right here on the end, these little clips, are actually how the device stays attached to the Xbox. The only other thing in the box is the mounting hardware that goes with the hard drive. Carefully remove the hard drive from the anti-static bag. As you can see, I decided to go with the two terabyte hard drive. The link is in the description below. The cover to add the hard drive was a lot harder to remove than I thought it would be, but I guess that's a good sign of the quality of this product. As you can see here, there are plenty of ventilation holes to keep that hard drive nice and cool. This connection here is for an optional 5 volt adapter. 
It's not necessary to run this device, but if you want plenty of power out of those front USB ports, you may want to consider buying one. If you take a look at these brackets on one side, they have recessed holes. It gives you an idea of which side the screws should go on. Take the plastic brackets and mount them to the hard drive using the provided screws. You want the screws to be snug, but do not over tighten them. There's no reason to strip these. They're not holding anything. They're not mission critical. They're only holding these brackets in place. Now place the drive inside the case. The SATA connector should line up with the hard drive and should only take a little force to properly seat the connection. Now if you take a look at the cover, you see these two little rubber stops here. That's what holds the hard drive in place once you put the cover back on. Just like when taking it off, it takes a little pressure to get it back on. Be careful not to break anything in this step. Immediately, I noticed that the hard drive nearly doubled the weight of this thing. And here you can see the pass through for the connect button for the wireless controllers for your Xbox One. So now that the hard drive is installed, the media hub is ready to go on the Xbox One. But this is where you have to differ from the instructions that come with it. Now the instructions will tell you to attach the media hub to the Xbox One, but you don't want to do that yet. What you want to do is turn the Xbox One on, go to the main screen, go into settings, and then attach the media hub to the Xbox One. And I will show you that now. Once you're on this screen, go ahead and attach the media hub to the Xbox One. Immediately, the Xbox will recognize it and will bring you to this screen to set up the external storage. This is where you'll be glad that you used a spare drive or bought a brand new one because anything that's on your hard drive at this point will be erased. Give your hard drive a custom name if you feel so inclined to do so. Select install new things here to prevent the future need of going through your games and moving them manually to the external hard drive. Select format storage device to continue. And once the Xbox is finished, you have completed the setup process. Congratulations, your new external hard drive is now ready to be used by the Xbox. And these photos here are just to show you what it looks like once it's completely installed and ready to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any comments, any questions or suggestions, leave those below. If you want to buy either of these products, the link is in the description below. If you want to donate to the channel, you can use the link on our YouTube page or use the QR code for Bitcoin at the end of the video. I am Elemental Musgrove and this is Technoscope.
Technoscope is a Twisted Curve production.